Hi guys, greetings from Better Man Clinics and welcome to Ask the Expert, the segment of the program in which actual questions from our viewers and listeners are answered by the foremost experts in the field. Today's question comes from Graham in Portland, Oregon. Graham asks, how often do men undergoing the resume procedure for BPH require another procedure or treatment down the line? In order to answer Graham's question, we turn to Dr. Kevin McVary, Professor of Urology at the Stitch School of Medicine at Loyola University Medical Center. Here was Dr. McVary's response. Yeah, so the data we have is five years old. Mm -hmm. That's where the pivotal trial stops. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the surgical retreatments, um, at five years, it's 4.4%. Mm -hmm. So pretty low. Sure. Now, what's interesting, if you look at year three, year actually, uh, at year two, it was mm -hmm. like 3.7%. Um, mm -hmm. And then year three, 4.4. Year mm -hmm. four, 4 4.4. Year five, oh. 4.4. So I'm not seeing the type of response we see from other types of myths or what we saw historically from um, microwave or tuna, the older mist therapies, where mm -hmm. there was kind of this steady degradation over time. With resume, we're seeing this plateau effect. And what I'm predicting is if there's going to be a need for a surgical redo, it's going to be early, not late. Because the, the curve just doesn't look like it's trending that way. Now, that's a prediction. I, I don't know that. It, you know, we'll see what happens but um, uh, over time. But it's very encouraging to see that stable 